And hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be continuing with my Don't Press the Button game. Um, it's been a while since I've done it, and I think at some point in the video, I... It's been a long time since I've done it, and I've gotten a suggestion for another uh, like aspect of the game. I'm just going to make a quick tutorial on that. Um, remember, if you guys want to do it, want me to do any more of these, uh, either comment it below, or put it in my Discord server. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So we have a script inside the click detector. And so what I've done is I've added local dbounce equals to true. And then if dbounce equals to true, then dbounce equals false. And then at the very last line before the end of the if, we, I put dbounce equals true. Uh, yeah, I didn't do that part on camera. I was just doing some bug testing, and if I used an aura clicker, um, it like it added all of the maps um, because it was too fast to register. So I started that, and that will definitely help with your game. So next thing I'm going to be doing is we're going to be adding text to it. So we're going to go start GY, create a screen GY. Say so name this one to text display inside of here we're gonna add a frame set the size to 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 which will flood the entire screen set the background transparency to 1 inside of that we're gonna add a text label and just make sure that goes right to the end um, I did this so no matter what screen you're on Oh, yeah, inside the text label, you want to go then change the size to 1, 0, 1, 0 again, sorry. And from here, you can just drag that up. And so this will be fit onto any screen. As you can see, if we go to iPhone S, iPhone X Plus, uh, Average Laptop, VGA, iPad, it'll be fit for anything. So if we go to text scaled. I'm just going to make mine look how I want it to look. Make sure the text is empty. And that should be good. I'm just going to clear the background transparency. And then we're going to be adding, in workspace, we're going to be adding a string value. And then it's to text. And then inside the text label, we add a local script. In the script, we're going to go while wait 0.1 do. And we're going to go workspace dot text. Oh, and we're going to be going script dot parent dot text equals to workspace dot text dot value. So this is to make sure it's updated on all screens. And then inside the maps, we can add a script. Go workspace dot text dot value equals to map one has been has been selected. We can if we just duplicate that script, duplicate that script. We'll just change the numbers around so we can know what map is going on. We hit play. As you can see, map 2 has been selected, map comes in, but you'll notice a problem, when the, when the map disappears, the text does not disappear. So to fix that, we're going to go into our script for inside the button, and then after dbounce equals true, we go workspace.text.value equals empty. So then we play it and click it. And map two has been selected. And then when they will both disappear, as you can see. And then we can click again. Map three has been selected. So guys, that is how you add text to your "Don't Press the Button" game. Um, again, if you have any suggestions, um, that's 
post it on my Discord server, comment down below. Um, there's a very high chance I'll be reading them. Uh, I go through my comments pretty often and I am really active on my Discord server when I'm awake. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I uh, hope to catch you guys in the next one. Bye.